Dear viewers, greetings. In this video, we are going to see about calorimeter. The contents of the present video includes an introduction about calorimeter, principle of calorimeter, types of calorimeter, instrumentation of calorimeter, steps for using a calorimeter, applications of calorimeter, advantages of calorimeter, limitations of calorimeter, and finally, precautions for using a calorimeter. Calorimeter A calorimeter is a light and sensitive device used to measure the concentration of colored compounds in a liquid sample by determining its absorbance or transmission of a specific wavelength of light. Calorimeter is employed to measure how much light transmits and absorbs as it passes through a liquid. Calorimeter refers to a device used in the calorimetry that aids in the absorption of a particular wavelength of light by a specific sample solution. Louis J. Dubasque invented the calorimeter in the year 1870. Calorimeter are used to identify the color and establish the concentration of a solution. The calorimeter device also measures the intensity or color concentration that develops upon introducing a particular reagent into a solution. Principle of calorimeter When a beam of instant light of intensity passes through a solution, the following events occur. First, a part of instant light is reflected. It is denoted by IR. Second, a part of instant light is absorbed. It is denoted by IA. And third, remaining instant light is transmitted. It is denoted by IT. As IR is kept constant by using cells with identical properties, the light that is not absorbed is transmitted through a solution and gives a solution its color. Note that color of the instant light should be complementary to that of color of the solution. Transmittance and Absorbance the ratio of the intensity of transmitted light to the intensity of incident light is called as transmittance. Photometric instruments measure transmittance. In mathematical terms, transmittance is measured as T equal to IT divided by IO. Here, IT represents intensity of transmitted light and the IO represents intensity of incident light. Absorbance the absorbance of a solution at a given wavelength is defined as equal to the logarithm of 1 divided by t, that is a equal to logarithmic base 10 of 1 divided by t. The absorbance measurements are dependent on two important laws. The first one is Bayes law and the second one is Lambert's law. The Bayes law stated that when monochromatic light passes through a colored solution, the amount of light absorbed is directly proportional to the concentration of the solute in the solution. And the Lambert's law states that when monochromatic light passes through a colored solution, the amount of light absorbed is directly proportional to the length or thickness of the solution. When combining Beer Lambert's law, absorbance is equal to KCL, where K is a constant known as absorption coefficient, C is the concentration of the solute in the solution and L is the length of the thickness of the solution. As the path light is same as same cuvette is used, concentration of an unknown solution can be determined by using equation that is concentration of the test is equal to absorbance of the test divided by absorbance of the standard into concentration of the standard. Types of calorimeter. There are seven types of calorimeters. They are visual calorimeter, digital calorimeter, single beam calorimeter, double beam calorimeter, spectrophotometer, densitometer and finally tristimulus calorimeter. The first type of the calorimeter is visual calorimeter. Visual calorimeter is the most basic type of calorimeter featuring a single light source and detector. 
the sample is placed in a cuvette and the absorbance is measured directly. The second type is digital colorimeter. The digital colorimeter automatically measures the absorbance or transmission using detectors and displays results on a digital screen. The third type of colorimeter is single beam colorimeter. The single beam colorimeter uses one beam of light for the measurement and requires calibration at each time. The fourth type of the colorimeter is dual beam colorimeter. The dual beam colorimeter uses two light beams. One passes through the sample and the other serving as a reference. This allows for better compensation for fluctuations in the light source. The fifth type is spectrophotometer. The spectrophotometer is a more advanced type of colorimeter that measures the absorbance over a wide range of wavelengths. This is particularly useful for analyzing complex mixers. The sixth type of colorimeter is densitometers. The densitometers are used to determine the density of the material. The seventh type of the colorimeter is tristimulus colorimeter. This type of colorimeter is employed to measure the tristimulus value of a color. Instrumentation of a colorimeter. The instrumentation of colorimeter contains light source, condenser, monochromator or prism, slit, sample holder or cuvet, detector or photozil, and display. Light source. The light source should produce energy at sufficient intensity throughout the whole visible spectrum ranging from 380 to 780 nanometer. Tungsten lamp is frequently used. Slit. The slit allows a beam of light to path and minimize unwanted light. Condensing lens. The condensing lens give parallel beam of light. Monochromator. The monochromator is used to produce monochromatic radiation that is one wavelength band from polychromatic radiation or white light produced from the light source. It allows required wavelength to pass through it. Prism, gelatin fibers, grating monochromators or interference filters can be used. Sample holder or cuvette. The sample holder or cuvette must be transparent. Glass or clear plastic cuvettes are preferred. Photo detectors. Detectors of colorimeter basically receives the resultant light beam once it has passed through the sample and converts it into electric signal. Selenium photocell, silicon photocell, phototube, photomultiplier tube, etc. are used as a photo detectors. Finally, display. The display detects and measures the electrical signal and makes visible output. Steps for using a calorimeter. There are six steps. In step one, prepare the calorimeter. Turn on the device and allow it to warm up. The second step is calibrate the device. Use a blank solution, either distilled water or solvent to set the baseline or zero absorbance. The third step is prepare the sample. Fill the cuvette with the sample solution. The step four is select the wavelength. Choose the appropriate filter to ensure that the color of the solution is complementary to the wavelength selected. The fifth step is measure this sample. Insert the cuvette into the colorimeter and the instrument will measure the absorbance or transmittance. Finally, the step six is record results. The colorimeter will display the absorbance or concentration value and record that result. Applications of calorimeter. In environmental testing, calorimeter is used for analyzing water quality by detecting the pollutants such as nitrates, phosphates and heavy metals. In clinical diagnostics, calorimeter is used for measuring blood glucose, hemoglobin and other analytes in medical labs. In food and beverage industry, calorimeter is used for monitoring color and concentration of additives, 
dyes or contaminants. In chemical and pharmaceutical industry, calorimeter is used for determining the concentration of chemical compounds in research and pollution. In agriculture, calorimeter is used in soil testing for nutrient concentration analysis. In research laboratories, calorimeter is used in biochemistry, molecular biology and other scientific fields for quantification of substances. Advantages of calorimeter Simple to use Calorimeters are user friendly and require minimal training to operate making them accessible for a wide range of users. Cost effective Compared to more advanced instruments like spectrophotometers, calorimeters are generally more affordable making them suitable for routine analysis in labs with budget constraints. Quick results Calorimeter provides rapid measurements of absorbance or concentration, enabling efficient testing in various applications such as water quality monitoring or clinical diagnostics. Portable and compact. Many calorimeters are portable and lightweight, allowing field use in environmental testing or on-site assessments. Suitable for routine analysis. Calorimeter is ideal for repetitive tasks and calorimeters are reliable for regular analysis of similar samples without the need of high precision instruments. Quantitative analysis. Calorimeter allow for the determination of concentration in colored solution and offering a straightforward method for quantifying substances. Finally, low maintenance. Calorimeters typically require less maintenance and calibration when compared to more complex analytical instruments. Limitations of calorimeter. The limitations of calorimeter includes limited to colored solution, less accurate compared to spectrophotometers, single wavelength measurement, interference from external light, limited range of applications, dependence on calibration, sensitivity to turbidity and impurities. Precautions for using a calorimeter. Users should always remove the cuvette from the instrument when not using it. If any optical marks are found on the cuvette, gently clean it with a tissue paper. Switch off the calorimeter when not in use. This will help the lamp to have a much more lasting life and will also save energy. After the work is done, it is preferred to disconnect the plug from the switchboard and cover the calorimeter with its protection cover. Make it a habit to always check the main power adapter and cable to know if there is any wear or tear. Prolonged use of the calorimeter instrument with even the slightest wear and tear cannot only damage the machine but is also dangerous. Replace if the instrument is damaged. Always keep the instrument in cool places and at room temperature. Do not keep the calorimeter near the harmful chemicals or burning materials. Dear viewers, that's all about the calorimeter. Thank you for your support. Thank you.